Uh, my expectations, I don't know what my expectations are, but I'm going to give Joan the ride of her life. I'm going to plow that woman. Full penetration, extreme close up, double penetration. I have two penises. It is gonna be disgusting. NC-17 rating on this interview. And, and I, I'm not pulling out. I'm going to impregnate Joan Rivers tonight. Guaranteed she's having my baby. It's gonna be a cage match to the death in there. Thanks to Audible for supporting In Bed with Joan. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks with more than 150,000 downloadable titles across all types of literature, including fiction, nonfiction, and periodicals. Audible keeps you entertained during just about any activity, like walking, doing cardio, sitting in traffic, standing in line, or cleaning your house. Audible is offering In Bed with Joan viewers a free audiobook to give you a chance to try out the service. One audiobook to consider is I Hate Everyone Starting With Me, which is written and read, of course, by Joan Rivers. To download this audiobook or another one of your choice for free, go to audible.com slash joan. That's audible.com slash joan. And now on to the show. Hi, I'm Joan Rivers. The show is called In Bed With Joan, and let's see who's coming out of the closet right now. Hello? Hey! Eric Andre! All right! I should have come out butt naked. I didn't have the time. I didn't have the time to derobe. It's okay. I'll uh, take you anyway. I regret it. I totally should have just come out. Yeah, totally naked. Full erection, too. I oh, took a Viagra oh. before we started. Uh, well, we have him in there. <laughs> oh, God. I snort him, though. I do, I do it like cocaine. You don't need... Do you ever take Viagra? Do you ever I'm thinking it? about doing it. I'll try any drug once. Yeah, but you're too young. Aren't you scared? What nah. if you took Cialis and it didn't just last for 36 hours? I, what if it lasted like, you know, they say call a doctor after 16 weeks? I'd be into it. I'd, that'd be the best 16 weeks of my life. <laughs> I'd probably fuck my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'd call him up just to fuck him. <laughs> okay, let me tell you why you are here. Yes. Because I loved you on Fashion Police. Oh, thank you. Where you didn't care. Yes. He took his, he wasn't wearing socks, he took his toes and stuck them in his mouth yeah, while we were trying little, like to have a real discussion with him. I had a little taste. Oh. Of my did you enjoy your toenail own? Toenail cheese, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little, a little spicy. What's the worst thing you've ever, oh, really? yeah. Go ahead. I don't know, well, now I feel like I'm you on You don't have spot. to do it. No, you it should to... happen organically. Yeah, well, not in this group. Not in this group. I feel like... You don't have to do I'm it. not your dancing monkey. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst thing you've ever put in your mouth? Oh, man. I don't know. Bigfoot's dick. I don't know. <laughs> no, uh... What's the worst thing I haven't put in my mouth is the question, my friend. At what time in your life did you realize I'm insane? Oh, right off the... And I'm going to make money. The earliest, earliest memories. I don't know. I was crazy, like, in high school and stuff. But I used to... were you crazy? In high school, for example, were you... They'd say, oh, were you popular? Like, because I, I would hang out with you because I would know you would be funny. Were you funny, weird, were they scared you're going to shoot the school? No, I wasn't, like, school shooter, like, energy. I was, like... I was... I was a class clown. I went to, like, a... Uh, international baccalaureate like nerd program in ninth grade and everybody <laughs> hated me there like it was like a really bad tough school and I got rocks thrown on my head but then I went to an arts high school in 10th grade and it was like that movie fame so that that's where I blossomed and where was this high school in uh, Boca Raton Florida where Ugh. old people go to die yeah it's yeah. God's waiting room now you your whole life is backward your mother is Jewish, your father's Haitian. Haitian, but I grew up in Boca. Most people, yeah. I have Benjamin Button disease. Yeah, I was yes. going to say, most, yeah. people yeah. Go, most, people, most, most people, Jews go New York to Boca. Boca, but I want Boca to New York. Yeah, is yeah. your mother dyslexic? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I don't know why they're fucking down there. It's awful down there. And how did your mother meet your father, and how happy was Craig's the Jewish... List. <laughs> no, uh, chat, chat room, chat roulette. Um, they met during a rent strike, and my dad didn't speak English, and he was, like, trying to get her to tutor her English, and that was his way of hitting on her. Right. And, and then they started having unprotected sex. 
And voila. And voila. Uh, and did they marry? And my dad has a huge dick. He's like really well. I walked in on him taking a piss and I thought he was holding a Quiznos sub. <laughs> I was like, well, don't throw that sub in the toilet. Oh my God. <laughs> my mom must be very loose. That's she just like, I think he opened her wide. Does she yeah. look happy after the visits? Are they still married? No, they got divorced. They were married for 25 years. Time. Yeah, that's enough. So that's what did he much. do? Did he come with a little chicky? Uh, he did he? Uh, no, did was he cheating on her? No, when after they? Well, I'm not gonna. Well, I'll ask you that. No, Next let's question. get into it. I'm gonna open book. Do you think he was? <laughs> I'm gonna open book. He, I have open sores. The same thing. <laughs> did he, you know what I should have said? Wait, ask me what's the worst thing I. Put, yeah. put them out. See, what's the worst thing you ever put in your mouth? Your pussy at the end of this interview. <laughs> High five. <laughs> yeah. Won't you be just... <laughs> That'd be a good closer if I just ate you out for 20 minutes. It should be like five minutes of interview and just 25 minutes of me going down on you. Uh, that would, people would watch that. People would watch that. Right? Yeah, but you know what happened? I'd, I'd want it for my show, and you'd want it for your show. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll trade. I think that's well, an even trade. I don't think so. I think we'll stay with me. <laughs> <laughs> I might be bad at it. I'm not sure if I'm good at going down and going. I don't what know what a, I'm doing down there. What a, well, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of like doing the alphabet with my tongue. And, and what, the, do you like motorboating write, like. Motorboating their labia, the classic do, kind do of. Do you ever like, you know, like in the, somebody's back, you wrote, I love you, you know all those yeah. cutie things well i'm checking my text messages a lot i kind of tune yeah, out you could like, do ah, that ah, 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 ah. as long as you, do girls think you're good in bed i uh, probably not I, <laughs> I fart while i have sex uncontrollably so no i'm just joking. i'm a virgin i've never even hugged a girl so fingers how old, crossed how old were you um how old am i now 30. no no how old were you the first time i had you... sex 16 years old i was listening to Wu your mother I didn't have sex with my mother. No, that was like much later. <laughs> is that every Jewish guy's fantasy to have sex with his mother? Oh, Why is that? Now, your father was Haitian, your mother was Jewish. What were you brought up, and how, are you circumcised and with a bong? I was, I'm circumcised. Um, I did the, like, African style, though, when I was 13, I did. I just stretched it out over a tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a machete. I was like, oh. Um, no, yeah, I'm circumcised. I'm circumcised. So were you brought up as a Jewish? Are you a Jewish? We identify or? as Jewish, but all, all the Jews in my family come from like four generations of non-religious Jews. They're all atheists and agnostic. So what does that mean? That if Hitler came in... If Hitler came... Oh, no, we, we, my, my mom's aunts and uncles died in the Holocaust, I think, or my, gram, my grandparents aunts and uncles died a lot. Like, we're Jews. And do you have to, to take that very seriously when, like, you see around, they go, you know, Aunt Sadie died in the Holocaust. No, 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 They no. forget to mention that she was a, a woman's woman attendant, you know? She, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't even Jewish. She slipped while she was cleaning up juke. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my mom, I remember telling my mom when I was 10 years old, that they should make a Holocaust or a roller coaster ride at Disney World. <laughs> I thought that'd be exciting. I know you're fighting the Nazis and you're going through and, the thing. And Jews get a third off. <laughs> Jews get half price. Don't you think? Yeah, that'd be great. I mean, I'm still into that idea. Okay, let me ask you your show, which is so brilliant. Melissa. Yes. Yeah. Watches the show. Yes. Thank you. And it's a, a lot of people smoke pot and watch the show. Do you smoke gr grass? Or you I'm not allowed to say because I'll lose my insurance. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not that fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so the answer is absolutely not. Yes. Your show is a deconstructive talk show. Yeah. What does We're that mean? It. We just make fun of talk show conventions because they have to be so polite to the guests yes. and so kind of like put on this facade like oh how are you and like um, some supermodel comes on and she's not very funny and the host has to be like oh you're so hilarious and talented <laughs> so instead of doing that shit we torture our guests we put like shock collars on them and we do like Chinese water torture and we throw like old clams under the seat before they get out there. So we're like just constantly psychologically torturing all our guests. So what are some of the shows that you look at that you go, Ugh, Leno. I are you wanna, a Leno I fan? I don't want to start any feuds. Well, he, nobody, look who we are. <laughs> I mean, Do I'm not. Do you think anyone is watching this show? Le Leno, I would say he's not my cup of tea. It's not my, that's not my. 
He's yeah. a little che cheesy for me. Yeah, big cheesy and to me. I feel like he's like reading the cute, you can feel him reading the cute cards and reading the question. It doesn't feel, there's no spontaneity. It's, I don't know. Whose show have you been on? Like Jimmy Fallon, I think is adorable. I think Jimmy Kimmel totally gets it. I yeah, think he's very he does. smart. I think Kimmel is like the realist of all the hosts. He yeah. like says what he wants and does what he wants and he's edgy. I like Kimmel. I like Conan a lot. I grew up on Conan. Really? That's interesting because yeah. I've never been a Conan fan. Oh, really? I thought you'd like well, Conan the best. he didn't let me on, so fuck really? him. <laughs> right at you. You're not funny, you stupid redhead. <laughs> <laughs> Boo-hoo-hoo, they kicked me off. He got $40 million. <laughs> right now, kick me off at 25. <laughs> you, think should, you think I should do Arsenio? Arsenio's back. I said, yeah, well, Are I can't wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How edgy can you get? <laughs> but you do Stern a lot. I like Stern. I, well, I love Stern. Well, I think he's it, the best interviewer of all time. I'm the, glued to the seat. He yeah. can interview anybody. Yeah, and he, he's, it's like ping pong, you know, yeah. with him or ten, tennis. Oh, yeah, he's so he fast and sharp. Gets it, gets yeah. it, gets yeah, it, gets yeah. it. Who was the best guest you've had, or one of your best, that you go, Wow, this is a great person. Uh, we had Mel B from the Spice Girls from from America's Got Talent on this year. She was awesome. She was just ready for anything. We were I was being wildly inappropriate. I asked her if she ever had a three way with Eddie Murphy. Have you, you know. dated any of these girls? Who who have you met on your show that you've dated? I dated uh, Tatiana Ali from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, I dated her yeah. For a little bit. Did she hurt you? Oh, you can man. tell me. You can tell I, me. Oh, uh, I, no, no. <laughs> I chai, cha, cha, cha. Did she hurt you, that bitch? I, no, she that didn't. Whore. No, she didn't. She's a good, that we're still two, friends. That quarter hoe. She, yeah. she She's the sweetest, too. <clears throat> She's such a sweetheart. Um, she, uh, I'm like, I'm going to cry. What if I just started bawling my eyes? Okay. No, by the way. No. Uh, He's She's so sick. What's your, what's your name again? Tatiana Ali. Oh, Tatiana. No, you like, you know, what you're going out with now is like good. This is a good person. You have to look behind the crazy hair and the no. ugly face and the skinny body and the kind of bad odor. Somewhere in there is truly a nice Jew. Uh, what religion do you think she is? She is... What is she, Tatiana? Uh, Ali, Ali, her dad's Muslim and her mom's Christian. Oh, a Muslim. He's a Jew. <laughs> I think her dad's Opposite. Muslim. I don't even remember. Opposites attract. <laughs> <laughs> but it, you know, I think I wasn't ready for... I was going on tour for the first time. I wanted to be like a little monkey animal. Yeah. I'm just trying to have sex with everything that moves right now. That's Except me. So no, you're t tonight. This is uh, how we end the interview. Me and you're so 69. <laughs> it's gonna be disgusting. <laughs> we won't even enjoy it. But we're doing it. We gotta commit. I didn't. You we gotta, gotta commit. commit. Full time. <laughs> full time. <laughs> I'm talking no condoms, girl. Uh, I'm ready for it. Look at Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I'm ready I to catch what you got, and I'm gonna give mine to you. We'll trade STDs at the end of this. <laughs> Melissa, my junk will look like a pepperoni pizza slice by the end of the. <laughs> you know. Anybody can go through life without an STD. There's no story there. I think it's important when you sit down at a table to say to people, does this rash look unusual? <laughs> it's a great conversation breaker. Oh, yeah. What about lesbians? Why are they good stand-ups? Um, because they're trying to attract women. They're trying, it's a one giant mating call. I think that's what a lot of stand-ups is, I think. <laughs> For, me, it is. Uh, girls did not pay attention to me in high And school. then you got girls, yeah. I had to make jokes, yeah. This isn't working. Do you uh, think of yourself as a Jew? Yeah, I'm so neurotic. I'm like Larry David on the inside of this. Yeah. I'm like Woody Allen. So You should see me on a blind date. I'm swallowing involuntarily. Or first date blind date. I don't do blind dates, but first date, I'm a mess. Ugh. I see, and I would I'm not... going to the bathroom every five minutes. Yeah. I have like napkins piled up because I'm drying my hands off. Yeah, yeah. I'm reading the Torah, <laughs> lighting a menorah. Who else would you like to meet? It's a nice way to put it. Oh man, uh, what like celebrities? Yeah, to go out with. Oh, who do you look to at? Who would I like to date? Maya Angelou. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, besides Maya Angelou, yeah. um, she could do poetry with you. We're good. Besides Jerry Sandusky, um, oh, no. <laughs> he's a charmer. <laughs> Uh, who would I like to date? I don't know. Uh, uh, 
Sofia Vergara is pretty hot. Yeah. I like Latin women. Yeah. She's pretty sexy. Yeah. So you like dark women. I like Rosie, Rosario Dawson. Oh, she's I got scared that you were going to say Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> 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 now, we have two little games that we play. Okay. First game we play is, uh, is there anyone out there that you want to apologize to? that you did wrong to, that you're terribly sorry. <laughs> Can you sue me if I do? No, okay. Nobody watches, you're <laughs> acting like... I was so mean to this kid, Mark Dorison, in, fi in fifth grade that I want to say, I'm sorry, Mark, I don't know why I was so mean to you, but you brought out some weird, sociopathic, dark, part of me and it was wrong and I I don't know if you even exist now but hopefully you do and I just wanted to say I love you how much do you love him oh this much a lot more than the frame can handle <laughs> yes was that too sincere no if you met him now do you think you'd still be mean to him oh I would punch him right in the fucking <laughs> face <laughs> fuck that guy <laughs> now, the other flip side is, who is mean to you that you want to tell off? I don't know the guy's name. Fuck you to this, uh, sit on it and rotate to this uh, racist kid that threw a rock at my head in high school. Threw a rock at yeah. me because? You were Jewish look at me. or you were Haitian? Yeah, yeah, and my hair was like, I had these massive dreadlocks. I looked like I slept outside. So you were... He hated they were you. green. I dyed my hair green. Did you cut your hair yeah, green? Yeah, I was a real freak. and I looked like I was in like Parliament Funkadelic in high school. <laughs> in high school, you keep saying you were weird. At what point did you really feel you, were, you hit your weirdest? Or your parents went, that's it? So much. I mean, I got suspended for not wearing shoes to school. I got suspended for mooning my friends at school. I one time, I like, I used to do this like, um, party trick where I would I was really into Chris Farley and whenever a cute girl would walk by my locker I would slam my head against the locker and go oh god I'm so stupid 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 <laughs> and I would make a loud sound and one time this girl Brooke walked into the English building and I was right in front of one of those like only break in case of emergency fire hose things and I was like I'm gonna do it to this thing it'll be a great idea I'm not thinking it's breakaway glass and uh, so I go hey Brooke check this out I'm so stupid boosh and my head bashed through the thing and I walk back and I went whoa and two shards of glass cut both centers of my hand so I'm bleeding out of my forehead bleeding out of the centers of my hand and I didn't know what to do so I just looked over at her and I went stigmata I am, J I am Jesus <laughs> But I didn't plan any of that, so to her, I just looked batshit insane. And I had to get some stitches, and I got suspended. I went to the hospital, and I got sent home. I was constantly just getting suspended. If you could apologize to your parents for one thing that you did that just made them go, what did we do wrong here, God? Oh, what would it be? I don't, there's so many. There's not one thing. I mean, I, I got arrested for smoking weed on the way back from a Method Man concert when I was in high school. Um, they weren't happy about that. Um, I, uh, I made a videotape um, where I took a poop in my mom's backyard and filmed it. <laughs> so I can apologize for that. Who cleaned it up? Uh, I think I just smushed it into the ground. <laughs> and now we have another segment. Come okay. sit over here and listen. Slide over. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna give you two names. Yes. You have to choose which one lives, which one dies. Latoya Jackson or Solange Knowles? Oh, Latoya's gotta go. I'm sorry, Latoya. <laughs> Solange is an artist, I like her, but like, Latoya. Oh, man, she looks like a, a dinosaur. She looks like a velociraptor or something. She looks like a creature from Jurassic Park. <laughs> Flava Flav or Wayne Brady? Oh, I like the, I like them both. Uh, do I have to kill one of them? Yeah. You know what? Kill them both. Fuck it. <laughs> They're dead. They're fucking dead. New Kids on the Block or the Backstreet Boys? Oh, kill the Backstreet Boys. I, I'm a huge NKOTB fan. <laughs> For life. Awesome. For life. Let them live. And our last one. Teen Mom or Honey Boo Boo? 
Hmm, gosh. I would, oh, I guess I, my gut is to kill both of them, but if I had to let one live, I'd let Honey Boo Boo live. I want to see Honey Boo Boo at 45. I'm very <laughs> curious. That version of Honey Boo Boo is going to blow a lot of people's minds. <laughs> Um, blow a lot of people's minds and blow a lot of people's dicks at truck stops. <laughs> she will be broke. At she, that crystal meth ain't gonna pay for itself. So. <laughs> and on that happy note, <laughs> we say thank you and we sail into the sunset with Eric Andre. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thanks to audible.com for supporting today's show. To download a free audiobook of your choice, Go to audible.com slash Joan. That's audible.com slash Joan. I was just in bed with Joan. Um, it was uh, uh, traumatic. I feel violated. Um, I have PTSD now. It's going to take me years of therapy to recover from my experience. So thank you, Joan. Bye. Kisses. Eric was adorable. And you know, he kept saying he wants to go down on me, he wants to go down on me. And I was very upset because I've got to start douching again. I mean, that hair is, it can hold the smell. Let me know who you'd like to see in bed with me. You can do it by sending me a message on Facebook or Twitter. <laughs>